Well, we finally made it, fellows. We finally made it into the fourth entry in the Evil Dead franchise, aka the Evil Dead remake. Evil Dead has an interesting thing when it comes to their movies, where it has its up and downs, with the first one being scary as heck, the second one taking a more goofy direction, and the third one just being a completely different genre. And now, since we're in the fourth entry, is this as good as the last? Heck yeah. Wow, this movie was insane. Getting into the pros, I love the more dark and scary tone here. The problem that I had in Evil Dead 2 and 3 is that I, ju I feel like more like a comedy. I feel like it's more of a comedy instead of horror. Especially Army of Darkness. Now, with a new cast and crew, this feels like a redemption for the fans who didn't like 2 and 3. What we love from the first one, we get it here. We get the horror and the suspense. For the most part. Another thing I like about this movie is that the more that the gore that we get is insane here. If anything, this doubles the gore and the shock value from the original. Like, we get scenes where one of the possessed characters slit their tongue open from a knife, a scene where the final girl has to pull her arm off from a car, or should I say hand. I can make a whole half hour video talking about the shocking moments in this movie. This is almost as shocking as Terrifier 2, for better or for worse. One last thing I like about this movie is that the ending was pretty different, in a good way. Spoiler alert! The main possessed character survived and became the final girl. I mean, when the girl started talking with her normal voice, I was like, You're gonna probably die. But no, she actually came back to life. Now, I would say this movie is really just perfect and is a perfect remake but I can't. Getting into the cons, I don't really have much to say that I don't like in this movie, but one of the things is that I hated the main character in this movie. I mean, I'm glad he finally got a redemption and he kind of sacrificed himself in the end, but he was just hateable and he just felt like the stupidest character out of all of them in this movie. But, like, he was just stupid and hateable, and... Yeah, I'm just not a fan of him. One last problem I have with this film is that this film is missing the fun and the charm from the originals. Like, I appreciate the dark and scary tone that's kind of like in the first one, but at the same time, one of the things I loved about the last couple is some of the more sprinkles of humor and like fun and charm, especially with Bruce Campbell. That would be in the other movies. I mean, I know he's in this one, but like a brief two-second cameo. But yeah, those were my overall thoughts on Evil Dead 2013. I like this movie, I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely one of the best horror remakes of all time. And if I would rank this, it would be high up on my list. Period. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. Evil Dead Rise is coming out in a few... In fact, it's actually coming out tomorrow. But, yeah. It was nice making these series of videos for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed them. But, yeah. Peace.